Hey, what's going on everybody? I am back, second video in a day. I'm gonna do another uh, contest video response. Um, it's gonna be a few hours apart, but I just sat down and I was getting ready to put some stuff away and I thought, you know, I need to do one for Steve Speaks and his 250 subscriber uh, contest that he's doing. Uh, Steve's got an awesome channel. He's a very smart guy, sharp guy, does a lot of um, uh, analysis on the uh, hobby trends and stuff. And so it's really, really interesting to watch his channel and kind of see what the market's doing on cards. And so um, he's got a really good channel, puts a lot of work into what he does over there. So if you're not familiar with Steve's channel, uh, definitely go check it out. You, you uh, won't be disappointed. Um, he does the math for you. You don't need to worry about doing it right. So, um, so it's pretty awesome. He, he has some graphs and and uh, his videos are really really well done. Um, <clears throat> and so Steve wanted us to share our top five favorite cards. And so this is hard. Um, I'd kind of gone back and forth on a few, and I thought, and I thought, now I'm going to put this one in. Now I'm not going to put that one in. So the three in the backdrop are not included. I just kind of decided I'd go with like a football auto theme. I've got a couple of uh, just, uh, I don't know, in-person or show signed rookies of Dan Marino and John Elway, a couple of guys I enjoyed watch play growing up. And then I've also got my Tom Brady auto that I picked up the night before the Super Bowl this year. So I think I uh, made out okay on that, considering what it probably would go for now. So, um, these are just a few that I like, but they're not going to crack my top five. So, um, we'll just jump right into it. So I typically try not to have long winded videos because everybody probably gets tired of hearing from me and will turn the video off. So, um, disclaimer on my video, one of my five cards is not currently in hand. Uh, it is at PSA where it has been at PSA since I want to say late November, early December. So, I don't anticipate getting that card back until probably late November, early December this year. I, I think they're about 11 months is, is what the turnaround is right now. So um, so I've got four plus the fifth. I'll just um, explain what it is because I only have one of this card. Um, and it's not even that high dollar of a card, right? Like um, I probably should have um, a couple of it, really. It's not like it's a Jordan rookie or anything. So surprise, surprise, right? I don't have the Jordan rookie. So if you watched my video earlier today, um, obviously this one is going to be a repeat of that. So I'll just show this one first. The 1986 Flair sticker, Michael Jordan, and a PSA Mint, Excellent Mint 6. Um, I shared the story about that. My mom bought me that card years ago when I was uh, middle school or high school-ish. I was pretty young. Um, and uh, that that card just means a lot to me, and so I that I've definitely got to have that one in my top five, right? So um, let's see here. We'll go by sport. Um, the next one I will just share the disclaimer on the one that I don't have. It's from this same Fleer uh, '86 basketball set. Is my Carmelo rookie card? Uh, Carmelo is my favorite player uh, of all time. I love the mailman. I grew up in Utah. I'm a huge Jazz fan. If you watch my channel, you'll know I'm a huge Jazz fan and a big Karl Malone fan. So uh, I only have one rookie card of Karl Malone, and it's actually not that great of a copy either. Um, I'll be curious to see what PSA gives it. Um, but I just was sending a bunch of stuff off, and it was kind of one last minute I decided to throw in. So um, I don't anticipate that it's going to grade higher than like maybe a seven, like it, you know, seven-ish. So um, it's not like a super high-end copy of his rookie card or anything, but Carmelo's my guy. i um, a huge Mailman fan, and so I've got to have Carmelo's rookie in my top five. Just got to do it. He's my guy. Um, the next one, this is another card that, you know, you look at some of these ones in the backdrop, they blow this one out of the water. But for me personally, it's not really about the money. It's just about the card and kind of the story or how how it resonates with with me myself is how I did this. So these are more of my five favorite cards, not my five best cards, I guess you could say. Um, this is the Scottie Pippen 1988-89 Fleer rookie card. Mine is a six. And you'll see there, it's got a print spot below the E in Pippen. It's off center, top to bottom. Um, I actually was a little surprised it got us. It's just a six. It's really not like beat up or anything. It's just kind of off center and stuff. But anyway... Growing up, I was a huge basketball fan, still am, but 
uh, basketball was my thing. I watched the NBA. I checked box scores every single day. I mean, just religiously, I just followed the league, right? And as a kid in the 90s, even though I loved the Jazz, you couldn't help but really like the Bulls until the late 90s when the Jazz play the Bulls. Then you heartily cheer against the Bulls. But, um, I mean, MJ and Pippen and uh, the Dynasty Bulls teams were just so fun to watch. And, and seeing it when it was like... You know, right in my era of like following the sport, understanding their greatness uh, as like a, you know, 12, 11, 12 in through my teens watching those teams. It was just right in that age where you just really get sucked in and hooked on sports. And uh, and so I just we couldn't help but love the Bulls. And uh, Scottie Pippen was another uh, player that I really liked. In fact, growing up, um, Carmelo was always my favorite jazz player. And it wasn't until later that he really kind of became my guy. But when I was like a younger kid, when I was like, you know, eight, nine through, you know, my mid-teens, Scottie Pippen was my guy. I mean, that was my basketball idol. I just loved his game. I, You know, he was a two-way awesome stud player, great at defense, you know, good offensive player, just a really good all-around game. Um, and so I just loved watching Pippen. Pippen was kind of my guy. And so, um, <clears throat> my aunt and uncle lived in Chicago. And when I was 12, I went out to visit them one summer and I just happened to be in town. And, and this is like in the, I think it was like 95. Jordan was not on the bulls anymore. Uh, 94, 95 ish, 90, I think it was like that summer of 94 is when it was. So Jordan was gone. The Bulls had come off their first season without Jordan, and there was no grumblings about him coming back yet. So it was the summer before the 94-95 season. And Scottie Pippen, uh, while I was in town, did an appearance at a sport, sports authority grand opening store. And I was like, no way. Like, this is like my my idol, right? And I didn't know. Like, I just never thought I would ever meet Scotty Pippen. And at this point in time, he was literally like my idol. So I was like, I have got to go to this. And so we went and uh, I had a photo. And um, while I was in line, um, I was able to get a card from just another kid that was in line. And uh, my aunt got assigned for me. And I was later, I sent it into SGC back when they authenticated in-person autographs. And uh, I got that Dream Team Pippen card signed. So again, you know, it's not going to carry the value of like that Tom Brady back there. But for me, and for this period of time in my life, when I met at that point, my sports hero, that was just, an, I mean, it's just hard to describe. It was just an amazing, amazing experience and so cool. So to get that Pippin card signed as well is just, that card really means a lot to me because that was just a really cool sports moment for me. Um, as a young sports fan and card collector. And then um, my last one that I'm going to share is just this one. And again, if you watch my channel, you may have seen this one before. Uh, This is one I got signed in person and sent in to SGC when they authenticated autographs still. And uh, I'm going to show my Mike Trout um, Cedar Rapids Colonels DAV card. These are tough to come by. I'm sure raw alone, this card's pretty valuable. And... um, I had a whole bunch of these signed, and so when Trout came through, I always like to try to get the minor league team set signed, and my local AAA team is the uh, feeder team of the Angels, so a lot of times my buddies and I that get autographs at the the games, we would buy the uh, minor league feeder team team sets, and you know, we would typically see a good amount of those guys and get the cards signed, and so when Mike Trout came through... I already had a bunch of these Cedar Rapids cards signed from other players, and I thought, yep, got to get the Trout one done. So then obviously he went on and became Mike Trout, and so the rest is history there. So I picked this one just because I got this one myself in person. Um, I have I only have one Bryce Harper autograph, and obviously if you watch my channel, you'll know <clears throat> that Bryce Harper is like my guy. He is like my baseball. He's my baseball hero. I love Bryce Harper. And uh, I'm a Phillies fan, so he's he's definitely my guy. And I, I do have a, a 
it was like an in-person one, but I just bought it. So it doesn't really have a lot of personal attachment to me. Um, it's just one somebody, you know, got signed in person and then it got slabbed by Beckett. And so um, I thought I'd go with the trout because I actually met him and got that signed myself. And he was so cool. He was such an awesome guy, super down to earth. Um, and so I feel like that personal connection just really kind of puts the trout in front of the Harper just because I got assigned myself. I met him and, uh, and it's Mike Trout, man. I love Bryce Harper, but Mike Trout's a better player than Bryce Harper. You know, pains me to admit that, but it's the obvious, right? So, um, anyway, so those are my five. So, uh, again, everybody go check out Steve Speaks channel. Um, he's got an awesome channel doing a great job over there. That's all I got for now, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you guys on the next video. Take care, everybody. I'm going to go watch the Jazz now, and they better win. They better win. We've got to close out Memphis. So uh, two more to go. Hopefully they'll get one tonight. So that's all I got for now. Take care, everybody. Happy collecting. We'll see you guys on the next one.